Hi, Jason Nutt with CE Pro, and I'm talking about outdoor audio and video today with Todd Mares, Director of Emerging Technologies at Peerless AV. Hi, Todd. How you doing? How you doing, Jason? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Let's jump right into it. What are the key elements that integrators need to be looking at when they're selecting an outdoor video solution? So, um, in my opinion, I think the most important things when we're looking at specking out a video solution for the outdoors, we're going to be looking at IP ratings. Um, IP rating is an ingress protection rating that basically states that this device, whatever that might be, um, when it's placed outdoors, it has this much likelihood to either um, perform as expected or without an IP rating, you can expect a failure from that. So the IP ratings come in two digits. Um, as an example, an IP55, um, the first uh, digit refers to solid particle ingress, so dust, bugs, that type of thing. The second um, number refers to uh, liquid ingress, so water, most importantly, right? And, uh, and when we're looking at these, understanding that from an IP55 up to say a 56, 57, as that second digit gets higher, it talks about the amount of pressure that a given device can withstand, specifically water pressure. So um, knowing that we're at an IP55 rating on a device that goes outside, it basically means that it's rainproof, it's waterproof. You don't wanna take a power washer to it or anything like that, but if installed correctly per the instructions, uh, the device should live outdoors just like a standard um, out indoor display would live indoors. So that's probably the first thing I'm gonna look at is IP ratings. The second, I'm gonna look at brightness. Because again, when you get to the outdoors, you need a display that's at least two to three times brighter than a standard indoor display. And a bright indoor display is around 250, 300 nit. Um, when you get to the outdoors, you really want that, that baseline nit reading to be at, at you know between four and 500, really uh, further up to the 500 mark. Um, you're never gonna outbright the sun, but you certainly wanna be able to combat it as best as possible. Um, keeping with that high brightness rating, a lot of video systems for the outdoors um, will have an option to have a, um, a system that's installed that has what's called a high TNI panel. And that is specifically the LCD um, technology, T being temperature, N and I being pneumatic to isotropic, meaning if I place this display out in direct sunlight, is that solar light going to affect the liquid crystal mechanism itself and render it useless outside? Or can I reach a high enough temperature level to where it's going to um, live without issue? So that's another thing we're going to look for as well. Um, one of the last things we want to look for for outdoor video system is something that has as least maintenance as required. You know, something that is fully sealed um, that you don't have to worry about uh, filter material or anything like that being replaced is obviously going to be a plus because the end user just wants to enjoy the video outside. They don't want to have to think about cleaning it and maintaining it because these are things that you would do up in a above and beyond what you do for an indoor panel. It may not be very intuitive as to either why they need to do that or how often they need to do that. So something that is free of maintenance is very important as well. And then finally, you know, you're talking about video resolution. Everything at this stage in the game for our residents is really geared towards 4K, no matter how small the display is. When I was an integrator many years ago, the rule of thumb was anything above 65 inches, you, you wanna go 4K at that point. But, okay, so you're starting to see a lot of the outdoor television manufacturers are just giving 4K generally speaking. So whether you've got a 42 or 43 inch display outside or whether you've got an 86 inch outside, it's all gonna be 4K nowadays. And the nice thing about that is um, getting into these higher or larger sizes, Willie, um, because you never have a necessarily, I would say 80% of the outdoor scenarios that I've been part of or that I've witnessed um, being installed, you don't necessarily have a staging area. It's more for this outdoor general entertainment zone. So you want to make sure that your display is large enough. You know, a lot of times 49 inches is great for a family room. You don't need to go much beyond that. But when you get into a backyard atmosphere or a, a light commercial beer garden atmosphere, something like that, where you're not seated at seven feet from the display or whatever the case may be, I think larger form factors is really the trend that we're starting to see. All right, Todd Mayers, Director of Emerging Technologies at Peerless AV. If integrators want to get more information, where should they go? Uh, they could go to www.peerless-av.com, um, visit our website. We've got all of our outdoor um, uh, units on the website themselves. You can look through all the spec sheet of them, uh, understand if it fits for the scenario you're trying to work it into. And certainly if there's any uh, any questions with anything, I'm certainly available through my email as well.